If you're interested in learning about UX design, I have outlined four best UX design courses for you to take in school, which covers the four fundamental concepts that you just must know to become a UX designer. But here comes a question. What if you don't go to my school or your school does not offer similar classes? What can you do? What alternatives do you have? Well, that's all I'm gonna cover in this video. Let's go. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. I highly, highly recommend you to check out those four UX design courses so that you will get a sense of what you need to learn, what are the core areas that you need to learn, the core concepts in order to set up a good foundation. And then you can use this video as a guide, a direction or a tool to help you find materials if you cannot take the exact same classes. Essentially, in this video, I will offer six alternatives for you to learn UX on your own. Awesome, right? Without further ado, let's dive right in. To find the alternatives, we first need to understand the alternatives of what, right? So let's blast through those four courses really quickly. Psych 3750, User Interface and Design. ID 3220, Design Methods. Parsons Summer School and the Invention Studio. And you will learn about all these things in those classes. Need finding, research methods, process, empathy, iterations, blah, blah, blah. One thing to know is that you don't have to take those exact same courses as I did. As long as you learn what is in those classes, then you will be fine. But of course, you go to my school, Georgia Tech as undergrad, you were able to take those classes, that's great. Then you can save some time looking for materials or spending extra time to study. But if you don't, here are the six alternatives. Rank from the easiest approach to the slightly more involved one. Number one, you can go to the course catalog of your university and see what your school is offering. You can find something similar from this department or the next department. If you cannot find anything similar, then you can try to find the course website or the syllabus of the courses that I just mentioned. For example, I mentioned Psych 3750. You can just Google that and oh, well, this course website is the exact same one that I used in spring 2014. It's the exact same class. And it's still here. Once you find a syllabus, you can take a look what they cover in it and you can find some related reading information to read more about. Number three, if you dig deeper and find some textbooks, then just order one from Amazon and read about the textbook. And if you see what I just did, this information, this course website or the syllabus of this class is actually public online. You can just Google it and find it. If I can Google that, that means you can also Google similar courses from another university, another design program that you might be interested in more. You can maybe find a few and then compare them and see which one that is better than the other and just go with those. Number four, if you find any slides or links, which you could, seems like in this website, and then you can print them, study them, Right, you have the materials that you're looking for. Number five, if you cannot find anything above, which I highly doubt it, you can still go to Amazon and order some books and read about the UX, the design, the interaction design. You can find some Google articles, Medium articles. You can go to YouTube to learn almost anything. For example, this channel. So to make sure like and subscribe so they can keep learning new things. Most of the stuff online, to be honest, are actually free, literally free. How amazing is that? Knowledge is power, but knowledge is free. So power is free. Wow, how empowering. Number six, you can do summer school. If you really need a class setting to get your mind in the right place, so you can have buddies to study with, to hang out with. Summer school, not a bad choice. Well, I did my parts in summer school and I think it's totally worth it. TLDR is do your own thing, be self-reliant, Take control of your own design career path. Don't let your school screw you up. They might not intend to, but they might end up doing it somehow. If you don't really feel it sometimes, it's real. Hope this video is useful. Those four core classes, let me rephrase, those four core areas are something that you definitely want to master if you want to be a good UX designer. You can totally just know a little bit of those four things 
and just be a borderline okay UX designer. But you know what? Everybody can be the okay version of anything. Then what's the point? And what's the fun of it? So have a growth mindset, aim to be a good, even a great UX designer. So yeah, if your school doesn't offer you anything, there are still six things you can do to make it work. There are alternatives and there always will be. In that case, the question becomes, are you going to spend extra time to source those materials and study on your own? Which in deep down is about how much do you want it? That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content on the own. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you in the next video. Cheers.